Hi, I'm Larry. I'm creating this video to try and help some people who are in the middle of their schooly demolition um, or their schooly wiring uh, and just trying to help you understand some of what's running through your bus. Um, this is a picture of the entire module over the driver's seat being opened up in a smaller schooly. And I admit it can look uh, pretty crazy in there all of these systems <clears throat> but let's look at a few things we'll start with the alarms real quick um, your alarm uh, at your window uh, basically uh, this little lever um, pushes in this plunger which detaches the ground and when the plunger is released it makes a ground uh, it's a live wire that makes a ground and that's what sets off the alarm in order to remove these, simply pull out the plunger, cut the wire. I suggest using heat shrink uh, tubing crimps, crimp it and heat it, uh, and put it away. Or eradicate the wire all the way back to its source um, is the other option. <clears throat> um, inside of some of these buses, um, there are also um, some hidden alarms. So near the back door, um, there is a plunger, which would typically be located right here. This box has been pulled off, and there'd be a plunger right here that this pushes in. That indicates to the driver that the door is locked. Here, you can see they've added a lock so that when the bus is not in use, this latch can latch in and keep this door from opening. When a school bus is in motion with kids, it's not allowed to have the safety door locked. People from outside need to be able to get in. So this has an added plunger that was hidden inside of this box to assure that when this lock is um, released, allowing the door to function properly, um, it holds the plunger. So if this door remained locked, either the bus wouldn't start at all or an alarm would consistently sound and you would not even know this alarm is here because the box this part is exposed this is not this box covers all of this so you wouldn't even know this is here and that has occurred to us in the past in assorted schoolies <clears throat> so um, you can I'm just looking for the um, next picture in line um, so you can uh, remove that entire um, area. You'll see there are these structural supports that are in here, welded steel. They are there specifically to hold that device, nothing else. So they can be cut away. You can see we've cut it away here. And then you have this whole front configuration which also supported everything that was going on here which is a huge amount of wasted space and um, you can uh, go go ahead I'll give you another view of it you can go ahead and take this whole system out you're gonna find that none of this framework here is actually attached to the fiberglass front the whole front of this bus is a fiberglass shell this would be the framing so you have two structural members here and here with this coming across it basically would support somebody standing on the roof um, so if you don't do a lot of welding and that type of stuff you might leave the overhead in you might pull these out and um, you would be forced to leave this if you're not going to put back in some other sort of structure <clears throat> we we basically uh, come back in and weld new framing to suit what we want so this is how the whole area would look once you've eradicated the electrical uh, system so in this electrical system um, there are um, here you'll see You'll see this main line coming up. We've unplugged it and it has all these three plugs on the end of it, which used to attach in this area. 
you can see we've detached all of this pulled it out it's done all of this um, is related to um, the switches and signals and whatnot uh, to the school bus mechanisms and then over here there's also a big main big main uh, that comes in and gets attached <clears throat> So by detaching that, um, this whole module can be taken out. There are wires in here that are in this module. Those wires will keep the bus from starting if the alarms are triggered. So when you detach this, if you don't locate the two wires that allow the bus to start, you're not going to get your bus started. And in this row here, uh, they also run through this um, some of the um, right turn signal wiring and a lot of wiring for this stuff everything going to this stuff can just be all cut and taken out all together I suggest taking the bulbs themselves out as well I like to put the lens back in so that I can just see the daylight coming through them and at night when you have the lights on inside they light up again but I take the bulbs out of all of these um, so by removing this whole mess that's over the driver which is solely designed to manage the um, school bus systems by doing that you're creating space that ultimately um, can be used um, so here you have you know almost a couple of feet where all that was going on then you have uh, um, some space all the way along here and all of this space um, this can all be filled in it can have Murphy bed where, where you have bed areas that fold down fold up uh, or uh, are fixed and maybe have a little area here where you can come up and in but you're seated underneath it and then just fill in the area here at bedtime so it's a great place to have for additional sleeping or primary sleeping it's also a great place to have tons of cabinet and cupboard and storage and whatnot so you're giving up huge amounts of internal space if you're not eradicating all of this um, that said you're going to want to have somebody with some wiring experience and most mechanics do um, who could come in and uh, rewire your complete rear uh, turn signals and whatnot. What we like to do is we like to um, leave the backup light, white lights that turn on when you're in reverse, and we like to reroute the wiring to this switchboard for the alarm. So if you're backing into a campground or you're backing in at home and you don't want to wake up everybody uh, nearby, you can switch off just the backup noise. Uh, but if you're in a supermarket or something and you really want everybody to watch out for your bus as you're backing up You can turn back on the alarm up here and then as you back up you get that You know horrible beep that alerts everybody um, That you're coming so uh, We also uh, Reuse these wiring which runs up next to the door. We put another panel in here and we reuse all these buttons for uh, assorted other things from exterior fog lights to um, exterior uh, really anything interior or exterior so it could be radiant heat systems it could be pumps um, could be anything um, you might want uh, an outdoor pump to a hose for some reason uh, that would turn on and off that pump um, so we we use all of the switching we think it's kind of cool to have this whole board of switches so we reuse it all <clears throat> so this is just an example to show you that you can in fact eradicate all this stuff and still have everything functioning properly that you'd like to um, and so we do this in every schoolie as we got it um, to regain that substantial amount of uh, space so I hope this is helpful. Uh, if it is, um, hit the little thumbs up so I know you visited. Thanks for checking us out. Bye now.